Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reese, and I help entrepreneurs like yourself become more successful by mastering your mindset. Now today I want to share something very important about how to change your self-image by mastering something called default setting. Now you will know exactly what to do when you're feeling down or lazy to pick yourself back up. It's the same way that sometimes it's very natural to have points during the day where you know you're not feeling your true self, the child, the self that you want to be. And this is gonna help you pick it back up and create a new default setting. But of course, first you need to know what a default setting is, right? So a default setting, what is it? It's that emotion, it's the feeling that you feel when you first wake up in the morning. Your natural self, the person that you don't have to get out of bed and go through a certain routine to become. It's the natural feeling that you have as a person. The same like likewise when you go to sleep, it's how you feel just before you get to sleep, when you're calmed down for the day and everything's over. It's also, and this is the important part, how you feel periodically throughout the day when you don't, tr uh, don't feel the true self that you would like to be. Everybody has had these times where you feel an amazing person, you've got great energy, and you're just ready to get on with your tasks and get your goals achieved. But you know, you'll have little slumps throughout the day where you're not quite that person. The exercises that I'm gonna show you today are gonna help you pick back up. So every time that you're feeling down, you can't focus, or you're not feeling confident, you can just bring that energy back to you and become that person that you know you truly know that you are. It's something everybody wants to be, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And the most of what the goal of this really is to master it, right? But when I say mastering your default setting, Doing these exercises enough will make it so these slumps aren't going to happen so often. And the times that they do, they won't be as hard. You can come back out of it quicker and you can just jump straight back into the mood whenever you need to. It's almost on demand. Just bring it back up. Anyway, step one. So the default setting is how you feel in the morning. It's how you feel when you're having these slumps. How can we improve it? Right? Sweat. Step one to doing that is to decide on your new default setting decide how you want to be throughout the day. What do you want to be like? For me, I want to be insanely positive, but also aggressive. I want to inspire myself and others to achieve their goals. It's very simple. I want to be the person that I'm being now. I want to have energy, even more energy than I currently have. I want to be proper inspiring and proper going. I know what I want. Do you know what you want? If not, I want you to grab a pen and paper and just write down some characteristics of how you want to be. Do you want to be confident, charismatic, funny, uh, playful, or do you want to be super serious? You know, engineers are uh, known for being proper serious and sometimes marketers are also. Do you want to have that type of mind or do you want to be more creative and more playful? Make the decision and choose the characteristic that you want to become. Now we're gonna work out how we can actually bring that out from within us, right? So once you know these characteristics, have them written down and study them hard, think about them hard and make sure you know who you want to be as a person when it comes to your characteristics and personality. Okay, so the first thing to do, well, the first way, there's, there's a few different things I'm gonna share with you. I've got about four things I'm gonna share that can help you pick back this emotion. The first one is the one that I use most myself because it puts me in the most positive mood possible. And that's just music and dancing. So just before I shot this video, actually, I had my music blaring. I've got some really big speakers and probably the whole neighborhood heard, but I had my music blasting really loud and I was just running between my room, just, you know, just going crazy, right? Cause this picks my energy up, gets me back in a good mood and allows me to kind of, you know, as I said before, inspire myself to inspire others and myself also. So that's what I had to do. I had to pick up that energy and I did exactly that by listening to music and dancing. Right? Music, listening to music also lowers your cortisol. It makes your stress levels a little bit lower. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the biochemistry now, but that's basically, you know, it takes away the stress relief and just allows you to get back in a focused mood and pick your energy back up. So it's quite positive, you know? There's nothing bad that can come from that. Dancing, just be yourself. Just dance as much as you want. Dance like nobody's watching because nobody is watching, right? Just go crazy. Do what you need to do to pick that energy back up. It doesn't matter. All right, number two, number method number two, high energy action. Now you could say this is the same as dancing, I disagree. Um, you know, it's stuff like punching the air, you go, yes, like let's get it, like let's do it, like that type of thing. Whatever you need to do to just bring it out from within you, do it, just do it. 
And likewise to that high energy action, shouting. If you have to, just start shouting, start going crazy. Um, you know, Jordan Belfort, he's got a, mm, like in the, in the film, it's not him himself, but he's got, you know, in The Wolf of Wall Street. Mm, da, da, da. Do that if you have to. Do what you need to do as a high energy action to bring that emotion back up within you. In terms of the shouting, you can do that. You could just start shouting crazy. Whatever you need to do to pick up your energy, do it. And you'll find your way. But number one, music slash dancing. Number two, high energy action. So like jumping up and down, use a little trampoline like Tony Robbins does. Do whatever you have to do to pick it back up. It's very simple. Just do it, right? Number three, and this is probably one of the most effective ones because it really gets down to your self image. And that's internal looping. It's repeating certain thoughts throughout the day when you know, you're not quite feeling it, right? So for example, if I'm, if I'm writing some uh, advertisements or if I'm writing a post for the Facebook group, whatever it may be, I would say something like, look, I'm just in my head, I'm saying stuff like, I'm just the kind of guy that for whatever reason is able to intensely focus even when he's feeling tired even when he's had a long day, that type of thing. So I'll just keep repeating that. I'm just the kind of guy that for whatever reason, I'm gonna fill in the gap. I'm just the kind of guy that for, every reason, for whatever reason is charismatic and people find me funny. I'm just the kind of guy that for whatever reason can get things done even when my whole world is crumbling around me. Whatever it is, obviously maybe not quite that because it's a little bit negative, but Find out where you want to be, find out what kind of person you are or want to be, and just keep internally looping that in your head. I'm just the, person, the kind of person that does this and that. And it'll get to you. The more that you say it, just keep saying in your head, keep saying it, and you'll become that, that emotion or that thought. Right? Thoughts lead to actions, thoughts lead to beliefs. Think about it, and it'll become an action or it'll become a belief. That's the self image, that's how self image works. Right? The final point is character modeling. Character modeling, what quite is that, right? Pick your favorite film. It could be anything. For me, it's Limitless. I don't know if you've watched it. It's a, it's a film called Limitless. The main character, Eddie Mora, takes a little pill called NZT48, and it makes him the most smartest guy in the world. He's instantly charismatic. Um, focused insanely focused and productive he goes from like a, a writer that can't write any words on a page to finishing a book in like four days or something insane stuff obviously it's fiction he's taken a pill that, that doesn't exist but the point is right that is my favorite character in my favorite film ever like i can watch that film so many times because i take so much from it every time i watch it right but if i you know if i'm struggling sometimes sometimes i'll just jump into him as a character and just pretend that I'm him. Pretend that I'm acting Eddie Mora from Limitless. Pretend that I've got this this pill, uh, this chemistry in my body where I'm just an insanely productive person, knocking out everything that I need to get done, and I'm just pretending to be that person. Right? Another example, Tony Stark, Iron Man, uh, The Avengers, you know, for him, loads of people like him. He's insanely charismatic and confident also. Um, a little bit egotistical, but, you know, Act like that character. If that's the character that, that is your favorite character, then model that character. And it could be anyone. You could switch it between different times. Sometimes I can, you can character model even real people. Maybe I'll character, character model Bill Gates or something. What would a billionaire do in this situation, right? And the more that you think about this particular character and pretend you're them for a period of time, you start picking up their habits and their feelings, their beliefs, their emotions, and you know their self-confidence. You become that character in a sort of sense. So that was that. First one, music and dancing. Then we've got high energy action, doing something crazy, jumping, hitting the air, whatever you need to do. Number four, uh, three, internal looping, repeating that phrase. I'm just the kind of guy that for whatever reason and fill in the gap. And number four, character modeling. Become that character. By the way, you can even make up that character. You can even make that person who you want to be. Pick it as someone from your future self. Do what you need to do. Act, become somebody else to become the true version of yourself that you would like to be. Okay, now for those of you that have made it this far, firstly, thank you. Thank you for taking this investment in yourself. And secondly, uh, you know, I've created a free Facebook group for our community completely free all you have to do click the link down below i'll be posting exclusive content there 
every day I'll be inside the group answering any questions that you guys have of course you can message me if you've got something more personal that you want to you know get an answer to that's fine just send me a message on Instagram the link will be down below and yeah join the community honestly it's gonna be with all of us there plenty of other people small at the moment it's only just got started but join the group and uh, we'll build this community together you know even if it's 10 of us I'll be happy if it was 10 of us because then we're all giving it's like that nice little community family type of vibe and that's really what I like we're all in this together we can all master our mindsets and there's no reason that we shouldn't do it together okay so anyway keep learning see you on when uh, today's Sunday I'll see you on Tuesday with a new video and uh, any requests that you've got, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it and subscribe because then you can see more. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday.